What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. Uh, I'm starting to like these little walking videos. You know, I'm starting to fuck with these, man. I'm really starting to like them. I might do them more often uh, when I go do an errand and some shit. But yeah, um, uh, so I saw some reports today that uh, Burns and Masvidal has been, you know, verbally agreed to. Uh, right now, actually, before I even talk about that, I'm actually going to run an errand to go get my mom a cupcake. So she asked for one. So I'll, I'll go get mama a cupcake. But, um, but yeah, so here's the thing. Let's talk about Burns and uh, Masvidal. Let's, let's get this over with. So they, they probably going to fight three-round bout. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good scrap. Both guys uh, coming off. I, I mean, both guys coming off big fights. One had more of a competitive fight in his last fight. The other kind of got dominated. He had a moment, right? Masvidal had a moment against Colby, right? But uh, I, I do want to watch their last fights most recently. I do want to get a gist for that. Um, because from what I remember, Masvidal looked slow. He looked sluggish. He, he looked past his prime. He looked like an old man in there, less explosive. Uh, I know I'm not a big guy that likes to talk about testosterone. My bad about that. I'm not, I don't like talking about testosterone like that, but it looked like he didn't have a lot of testosterone in that bitch, right? So he just looked like an old man. And don't get it twisted. Fucking what's his name ain't young, right? Burns ain't young, but... What I saw from Burns in his last fight was a completely different thing, right? But what I've been seeing on MMA Twitter uh, with the nonsense and the foolishness is, is people plotting. People really plotting on Burns. I don't seen people say they think Masvidal could knock out Burns. And yeah, he can do it. He can. But this isn't like 2018 or 2019. All right? it, was, it was 19, right? It's not that. He's done. All right? He's not the same guy. And I'm not saying Burns is either. Right? I feel like Burns' best year will always be that year he beat Tyron Woodley, fought for the belt that year. That was his his best year. Or when he was on his fight-fight win streak, right? Uh, but, yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's just one of them things. It's like, bro, like, he's not that guy no more. He's not the guy that knocked out Darren Till. He, he's just not. Right? Or beat Ben Askren. And no, look at where those guys are at. All right, like, don't even let me, I don't even want to talk about blood resume like that, right? So, but what people are trying to get at, what I've seen, is that Burns is chinny, right? He's a chinny, chinny dude. And I get that. That's, I think that's fair. That's a fair um, criticism. But here's the thing. He can wrestle. All right, that's something that people are just ignoring and acting like that isn't a fact, right? Before, it was cool to whoop on Tyron Woodley, right? This is a Tyron Woodley was coming off a title loss to Kumar Usman. It was the number two welterweight in the world, by the way. He took him down twice and was able to control him on the ground, right? I, I'm pretty sure before that, Tyron Woodley had way better takedown defense uh, in the welterweight division. He set a record, right? Now, I'm not saying Jorge has trash takedown defense, but we've seen guys control him. Damian Maia was able to control him. I know people give him a lot of credit for that, but he was able to control him. That's just a fact. Yeah, he defended some takedowns, but yeah, look at the Kobe Covington fight. He got control. And this was a older Masvidal. He gave up takedowns, even in the second Usman fight. He did get up, but he got slammed to the ground. Gilbert Burns can wrestle. Gilbert Burns showed his wrestling against Stephen Thompson, a guy that beat Jorge Masvidal. Like, these are just facts, right? And Burns, he can strike. He can strike. He's not the best striker in the world. Got a, ni got a nice left hook. Was able to beat Damian Maia, a guy that beat Jorge. Was able to beat a guy in Wonderboy that beat Jorge. But, yeah, we all know MMA math don't work like that. Don't work like that. But what I've, what I've noticed, and I, I wanted to, like, just talk about this entirely was the fact that all these bums at Shamaya fans are plotting on Gilbert Burns. I don't even like Burns like that. But y'all just hating on Burns right now because he fucking humbled Shamaya. All right? He taught him respect. Oh, you get to, oh, you only had four years of experience and you had a problem striking with him. Yeah, the guy's a fucking weight bully clown. All right? He should be a 185er. All right? Gilbert's a former 155er. You remember what y'all was saying? A chinny bum? Chinny lightweight? Keep that same energy, right? So, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. I, I just think 
personally, I I think personally, Gilbert will take Jorge down and do the the classic half guard simulator and win the fight. I know he I know he hurts your guys' feelings. I know I get it. Chamayev didn't knock him out in the first round. I know that hurts your hurts your hearts, right? But don't be plotting on blood, all right? Don't be, <laughs> don't be praying on his downfall like that. Man, get some respect. If you're going to have someone do it, right, beat Burns, at least, like, get behind someone that can actually do it. Like, maybe a Jeff Neal. I think Jeff Neal would still get taken down and exposed. Neil Magny's son ain't that guy. I know he beat Luke, but he's still, still and will never be that guy. Never was that guy. But, hey, it is what it is. Um... But yeah, you know, I just I just don't think a guy like Masvidal is going to beat Burns. 10 out of 10 times, I just don't think he does it, right? Like, he might do it once, but I don't think he does it consistently. And then they're only going to fight once, so it could happen. But most of the time, Burns will take him down, control him for three rounds. He's not dumb. He's not a dummy. He's not going to go down and try to strike with Masvidal. Fuck that, man. Kobe didn't... I mean, Kobe mixed it up, but still, he... He knew that wrestling was the game plan, right? And I always hear these things, right? That, oh, if Colby was to fight Gilbert, he'd get he'd get destroyed. But just because y'all yeah, hate Gilbert now, what, Masvidal can beat him? Like, keep that same energy, man. I get it. It's MMA math, and people are trying to make a big deal about the styles. But here's the thing. Burns can wrestle. He can wrestle. It's like, I, it's like you guys forget he can fucking wrestle. All right, he was able to control Mike Davis. He was able to control Wonder Boy, and I get it. You guys can bring oh, Bilal had a better performance against Wonder Boy, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> like fucking Gilbert had a better performance against Wonder Boy than Jorge. So I, I, th- I think it's interesting the plotting I've been seeing, just the low key hating of Mr. Um, Gilbert Burns, and I, I'm not even a Burns fan. I enjoyed what Usman did to him. Uh, I did support him against Chamay because Chamay. It's true evil, and we got to get rid of blood. But besides that, um, you just, you got to you gotta rock with, you have to rock with Burns here. You know, it's like, if you're not rocking with Burns, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> like, like, I get there is a chance he could knock him out. I get it. But Masvidal's done, bro. He's done, man. He is done. And Burns, I don't think he's ever going to be a champion, but he's still got something left in the tank. But, um... But yeah, man, it's it should be a good fight. Uh, I can't wait for it. It's a really good fight, and I I respect Masvidal for taking that fight. That tells me that he still has intentions of trying to win a belt. So the mentality is still there. But I don't care how strong your mind is. When your time is done, your time is done. It's just that simple, you know. I know you guys are gonna come at me. What about fucking Luke Rockhold? Well, we'll fucking see this Saturday. But um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Uh, like, comment, and share the video. Uh, and yeah, man, uh, like uh, Chamaya fans, I know you're out there plotting. I know you're out there plotting. Yeah, you, you should be. You should be quiet. You guys are fighting Nate Diaz. <laughs> like, don't talk. <laughs> you have no right to talk. Like, y'all, y'all don't want Kobe Covington to smoke. Y'all went running <laughs> after Burns taught y'all respect. Y'all went running. But hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. I'm out of here. Love y'all. Hey, goodbye.